Hi there, this is Dana. In this short video, I'm going to be doing a quick review of a course by Domestica called Illustrated Stationery, A Guide to Sell and Market Your Art. The artist uh, featured is Jessica Rue. She's quite well known. She has some beautiful, beautiful uh, products and an illustration style, which you'll see throughout this video. Uh, as you can see, I actually am a fan of hers uh, because I have her floriography book, which is just beautiful, and it's actually very interesting to read as well. And I found out about her tarot deck, or sorry, her oracle deck, not tarot, oracle deck, uh, through this course, and so I actually purchased that as well, and it's really, really beautiful. I really love the illustrations and uh, her little... Um, booklet that comes with it. She's uh, done a really good job of explaining the, the combinations of the animals and the botanicals that she's chosen. But anyway, so I just wanted to say that, that I am a fan of Jessica's. So I was quite actually pleased to see this course come up uh, in my Domestica feed. So I wanted to do a re review of it for you. So in the course, it's actually quite a thorough course. I was actually pretty surprised at like how much detail she goes into. So we got, uh, there's a introduction sections about Jessica and about her influences. Of course, I was thrilled to learn that she's also a huge fan of William Morris, who I am as well. And my art is quite influenced by his work as well. Uh, the starting out module, uh, she talks about an introduction to product illustration. Uh, she also talks about building your brand, which is so important. Uh, vendors and printing needs, because each one is different. And financial aspects such as pricing and budget. I'm going to uh, put a little pin in that because I want to talk about that one in particular uh, a little bit later. As far as the artwork, she talks talks about uh, how to start her artwork, and she also has a couple of modules on finishing the illustration. She actually has a full course, which I'll talk about later, just about how she does her art and her process, but she actually goes through a pretty decent uh, quick run through of how she works, which is super interesting to watch. And uh, she also talks about rearranging the art to fit the printer templates. And so she has a couple of modules on that specifically. In the course, you're making uh, basically a sticker layout, a notebook layout, and a greeting card layout. Actually, not notebook, a uh, note card, I guess, or like note notepad. Uh, as far as the online shop stuff, she talks about photographing your products, uh, online shop basics like how to upload things, and also creating a wholesale catalog, which is really important if you want to sell wholesale to other retailers. And she also talks about shipping and marketing and tips. Uh, she talks about packing and shipping your orders, marketing, and craft show tips, which is really, really informative. And then, of course, uh, there's the final project. So for my project, I did a design called Coastal Blooms. It's based on florals and botanicals in my neighborhood, which is the Inner Harbor of Victoria, BC. So like, there's a lot of evergreen trees around here. There's a lot of gardens, magnolia trees, all sorts of beautiful, beautiful florals around here. So I thought I would base my design based on what I see every day. So for my project, I use Society6. Uh, currently, I don't sell anything physical uh, due to physical limitations. I've got an injury from my military service 10 years ago, so it's actually quite difficult for me physically to like uh, package things, ship things, all of that kind of stuff. So I currently just use print-on-demand sites or licensing. So I actually did this project uh, using print-on-demand site. So you can do it as Jessica lays out in the course. You can actually get stuff physically printed, or you can actually sort of adapt this course to print-on-demand sites as well. So as you can see, uh, I've got the layouts of... Th these are the actual um, templates that I used for the greeting card, the notebook, and the sticker based on Society6's uh, template sizes. So you can see the ratios there of, of the artwork and how I've kind of rearranged the the art to fit those templates. And in this picture, you'll note how the greeting card got cut off in the mock-up despite there's no bleed lines in the template. Like in her course, she talks about bleed lines, which is like where uh, it, the art can get cropped and cut due to the way that things are printed and manufactured. Society6 is a little odd in that some templates and their uploader have bleed lines, some don't. So the greeting card actually doesn't indicate uh, 
bleed lines at all, either in their template specifications or when you upload, but you'll notice how it actually got cropped top and bottom compared to the layout that I submitted based on their guidelines. So that is something to be aware of, like if you're wanting something to fit perfectly and you're using, say, Society6's template outlines, you may actually want to like compare what you created in their layout in their template versus what their mock-up shows because you can see it's been cropped top and bottom but not side to side and then i also created a notebook uh, and also a sticker and you can see that because my initial art as jessica was jessica's was in her uh, example in the in the course i decided to use a square format so you can see that the sticker layout was the initial art that I created, the same layout. So you can see some items, uh, some products in Society6, like the mini art print, because it's a square layout, it works perfectly. So you can just adapt the same template for other items, assuming that the layout's the same. Uh, you can see here the water bottle. The layout's okay, but because it's been cropped top and bottom, it's not fantastic, but I mean, for a water bottle, if you're just wanting sort of a general floral image, it's fine. And then you can also see here the serving tray. That's not great. I mean, you can see that it's been cropped quite heavily top and bottom, but the sides are, are fine. So, I mean, like if I was going to make, uh, say, upload this art for this the serving tray, I would actually rearrange the art again, make, you know, a new template rearrange the art again so it fits better within that ratio. So for the course itself, she does Jessica does a fantastic overview of everything you would need to know to start up your uh, online shop or even get tips if you've already got one running. She goes into enough detail to get you started without being completely overwhelming and unmanageable. Like I've done, I've been running my business for eight years and there's a lot of things you learn as you go, but Jessica's course actually gives you a really good starter point. So you can start and then you can start doing the research and figuring out how things are going to work for how you want to run your business. So as I said, this course is usable even if you're not going to get the items physically printed, like I'm using Society6 in this example and it works out pretty well. Uh, I love the look of the, her design process um, and how she creates. And again, I'll put a link in the description and I'll have a little trailer of that at the end of this video as well. It's full of lots of tips and tricks that she's figured out over the years from making shipping easier to packaging up shipments to, to give the recipient a little extra sense of being taken care of and also reinforcing her brand and the quality of her product. Like that's very important to her. Like her, her product is very, um, I don't want to say high end, but it's, it's very beautiful. And she wants to convey that, that energy and that joy that she puts into her art. She wants to convey that into even her packaging and her branding as well. And I love uh, in her financial class or the, the little module about that, I love how she explains that you need to spend money to make money. And like a lot of online educators really skirt around that topic. And I think they do a really big disservice to people who are just starting out. For example, you need to pay for proofs, uh, like for the the samples of the printing that she's talking about. And you need to be able to support yourself while you're building your business up. You're not going to start making money instantly. That's going to cover all your costs instantly. So you need to have some sort of income or way to pay for all of this while you're building your business up or trying new designs. You're going to make mistakes. Like you're going to order too many of something, particularly if you're ordering wholesale, you know, there's minimum order quantities, you know, so you might end up ordering say 50 of something and you sell two. So you're going to have to be able to absorb those costs. Um, you're going to screw up shipping costs at first. You're going to have to deal with refunds, all of these things. So you need to be prepared for the fact that if you want to run your own online shop, you do have to have some money up front to be able to cover those costs until you kind of get up and running and figure out what your customers want, what products sell well, all of that kind of stuff. So I love that she actually touched on that. Um, she also has some great information on proper pricing. Uh, for example, a lot of uh, People, coaches and stuff will be like, oh, just check out prices on Etsy and see what people are charging there, which is pretty terrible advice. I mean, Jessica does say to look around and stuff and see what generally similar things are selling for, but she also explains how to 
actually build your pricing in with using your actual costs, like the costs of the shipping, the costs of printing, uh, how much profit you want to make, especially if you're going to sell wholesale, all of that kind of stuff. She actually goes into a decent amount of detail without it being overwhelming about how to actually set pricing that you can make a profit on, which is fantastic, particularly as a lot of like uh, shops like on Etsy or those sort of um, platforms that are somebody else's platform. They're not your own website. A lot of those people either are brand new, so they don't really understand pricing well, or they maybe have other income that's supporting their shop. And so they're kind of just running it as a hobby. So they don't necessarily have to make a profit. So it is kind of dangerous to look at at sites like Etsy for pricing, you know, advice, so to speak, because you don't know their experience and whether they're selling at a loss or not. So also, as I mentioned, she has another course. This is actually her first course. Uh, it's called Natural Illustration with Digital Painting. Her process is really interesting. It's quite in depth. It's, I've never seen anybody work like that before, but it was actually very interesting to watch. Um, so, I mean, if you would like me to do a review of that, course as well and like talk about her process more in depth please let me know in the comments uh and you can let me know whether you'd like me to do that and like me to to take that course and then review it uh and yeah i think that would be actually really interesting to do as well it looks like a very good course as well so to, to finish up i'm gonna put a link to this course um in the description below uh you may see that there like right now when this is being filmed they're having their big black friday sale on so they're constantly running different sales so do check that out uh you might get lucky and, and get some of these courses on sale or as part of, you can get them as part of a bundle, things like that. Um, I'll put a link to my Society6 shop for the Coastal Blooms design so you can actually see which products I've enabled and which ones I haven't for the, for the actual templates that I uploaded. Um, if anybody wants, say, to order a product that I don't have enabled for that particular design in the Society6 shop, just let me know and I'll create a template and then upload it and then I will enable that specific product forward. All right, so I think that's about it. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know, and I hope you have a great day.